Got a no AC call. Let's jump right in. Got a call for cool. I just changed the filter. Filter's brand new. And we've got 76 exit. And I, I can hear refrigerant. So let's go up to the roof. So I'm not even looking at the units and I can just tell that this is gonna be it. I don't know if you can hear that. Well, that's the sound of a low charge, extremely low charge. Just gonna hook up the vapor line. We've got 15 PSI on the vapor. I'd say she's low. Got our brand new bottle. 410A. I know these valves are closed, but I just want to make sure. Crack it open. It's a blended refrigerant. So we flip her upside down when we charge. We bleed the air out of the hose. Once you see liquid, you know you're good. Now let's charge, baby. I don't have a charging attachment, so I just do quick spurts. I don't want to flood the compressor with liquid, even though it changes state pretty fast. It's quick spurts. Just like that. I hear all that rattling went away. And I'm going to get my saturation just above 30 and then we can dial in the charge a little bit I don't have my HVAC tools with me but I got tools that will work so we can charge by sub cooling since this is a TXV We're gonna do sub cooling the old school way. Anywhere between 10 and 2. saturation right where I want it 40 degrees that's perfect and our sub cooling 88 saturation minus line temp 86 that's two degrees sub cooling and still dropping I'm gonna give this a couple of minutes to get itself situated and I'm not gonna dial in the charge exact because it's just gonna leak out again until we can find and repair the leak Alright, we've got 96 degrees saturation, 82 line temp, it's a 14 degree sub cool, gas and go baby, this fixes, nah just kidding, we're gonna leak search this, pull the plug, I'm gonna go ahead and put these gauges up, don't need them no more. Uh, we're gonna check for leaks. 
got a new leak detector not too long ago and this baby is the best leak detector I've ever owned it finds it's found leaks that my old one could not find and it found it in seconds when doing a leak search you always look for signs of oil I know it's hard to see but there's signs of oil down there now that could be from hooking up gauges or it could not but I am gonna check down here and my leak detector keeps going off just sitting here that could be the refrigerant that I just let loose so check the straighters first and the caps see we're getting a little bit there I mean it's pretty consistent right there by the valve core And this is infrared, so it will adjust. Although it picks it up there, there's no bubbles. No bubbles there either. And then check these service valve caps. These are known for leaking if they're not on there tight. So even though I'm picking up refrigerant here, it's a very small amount. And I just spilled 99% of these crappy soap bubbles. All right. Look at that. Some arcing almost going on with these wires. It's a future short. All right, I found the source. And she's going crazy. Right in them coils down there. Let me just make damn sure it's not this old filter dryer. And that's where all the oil's at too, down here in them coils. Back to 100. All right, let's see if I have enough soap bubble left to pinpoint it. Even though I know I'm not gonna be able to Very hard to see. But I can see it. See that bubble coming out? See that bubble? All right, let's put this back together. Everything's back together. Now, power back on. And she'll cool for another couple months. Now, this unit is 12 years old. I'm gonna recommend a condenser replacement, two and a half ton. And hopefully we can get that in pretty quick and slap her in before it gets too hot out. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Dave. Hope you enjoyed this HVAC training. Until the next one, hope to see you there.